the final boss of Trials Evolution because I couldn't finish it on stream. I miscounted streams actually. Last stream was uh, stream number four of Trials Evolution. I am not streaming this, I'm just recording because uh, coming back fresh, day two taken on Inferno 3. Could take 10 minutes, could take two hours. I don't know. Let's take a crack at it. In fact, uh, I talked about if I failed last... Oh no, I can't even try the donkey. Never mind. Not allowed. I only have the two options. The scorpion or the phoenix. Alright, well I haven't tried the scorpion on this one. I, I spent, like, however long I spent on the level last time trying the phoenix. So let's, out see, let's see how this one goes. All right, good start. I remember this level starts with a pretty mean first obstacle that definitely felt easier on the Phoenix. Yep, there we go. I'm feeling the lack of acceleration on the Scorpion. Suddenly, I'm leaning more towards two hours than ten minutes. I don't think this is going to be a ten-minute video. There's also a possibility that I still just don't beat it. In which case, this might not even go up, this video. Uh, if I do beat this, would this be the first Trials game that I finished on stream? I don't remember if I finished the first one. I at least played every level in all of the games, but uh, I know that I didn't complete every level in 2. And I'm okay with that because 2 had, uh... 2 did not have, like, real controller support. I don't remember if 1 did. Trials Legends, that version of it. But I'm cool with the first game I actually, like, finish every level on being the first one with controller support. Okay, yeah, this is going way worse than the Phoenix. I might have to switch back. And that's not a good sign if the best bike for this course was the one I was using last time. It's possible it's just this obstacle, though, and I'll have better luck once I get to the other ones. If I get to the other ones. That's a big if. What was my... What were the really bad obstacles? I remember having a bit of trouble with... Uh, the series of three sideways pipes. And then the obstacle that I just couldn't get past was a series of two upward... Two or three, like, upwards hill jumps. being the day after the previous stream, previous video of this game. I don't have a lot new to talk about. Not that there's a chat to respond to me, even if I did talk about anything. Okay, I'm gonna hold forward just long enough to, like, get ground. I'm gonna have to lean back as I accelerate and then forward as I go off the top. Cause that's how you bunny that's how you bunny hop, is you, you lean back and then forward suddenly. Which is necessary for this very first jump. Oh, like that. That was a perfect one. And I'm failing the second bunny hop, is what's happening. 
I'm not ready to give up on the scorpion just yet. I would like to get to another obstacle just to see how it does on something other than this. There is a learning curve to each individual bike, and that's something that I appreciate about Trials. It's not something you would think to be the case, but each bike is almost like a character in a fighting game. To a much lesser degree, but... I appreciate that they're not just, like, meaningless stats. Each each bike actually has a niche and, and uh, an ability for the player to learn that bike. I hope the same is true in uh, Fusion, with all the additional ones it adds, like the ATV. I think it also adds a bicycle. I think there's a bicycle in the fusion. Oh. oh. That's such an ask, that second jump. I don't think I have the luxury of even stopping on the pipe. I have to keep going. So you really have to get, like, a perfect run over this first couple jumps on the Scorpion in order to get past this. And I'm getting close, but not quite there. notice it getting uh, picked up as much as the GameCube controller does. GameCube controller is being famously clackety. But I'm also using the D-pad, so it probably is a little clackety. Can you imagine playing this on a mechanical keyboard? The noise you would get I wish they would. I would go back to Trials 2 if they patched in just a controller update. They won't. They don't update games that old. In fact, they actively don't want you playing the old Trials games. They being Ubisoft, because they want everyone on the new ones so they can buy all the, all the things and the, 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 tra the transactions. But it would be nice all the same. Okay, so I need my back wheel to stay on the... I need my back wheel to stay on the pipe for during that whole second section. So I need to lean back. I need to lean back, but not fall over myself. I know this is the first obstacle, and this is, like, a really bad sign for the Scorpion overall, but, man, I feel like I'm so close to getting it. I at least want to get over... Yes! Over the first one. Okay. Let's see how far we can reasonably get now. That's a lot of speed we're losing. I don't like that. Oh, this is a bad sign. The Scorpion may, in fact, not be the way to go. Which begs the question of, like, if they're gonna not allow all bikes, is it possible on this? You would think the fact that they're allowing it means that it must be. Uh, uh, imagine being a, a Trials playtester. You'd have to be a god at this game.
Which is funny, considering that, you know, this series started as just some silly little Flash games. To think of people having to get so good at this type of gameplay. To have to play test games like this. Okay, I remember we spent a long time here. Is this the obstacle that we never got past? Because this is the one where you have to, uh, you have to use a gradual acceleration not to, uh... Yeah, I don't think we ever got past this. Wow, this is early in the level. to get enough, we need to get far enough on that second jump to catch enough of the ground to not fall back off backwards. Still playing through uh, Twilight Princess. I'm now up to the Palace of Twilight, so I'm getting there. Doing a uh, three hearts run, one bottle, no magic armor. Looked up some other achievements, other games, just because I was curious. Kind of surprised I. I a little surprised with myself that I never did uh, Paper Mario's achievement set. Which, that's probably because I've been streaming Book of Mario so long that I haven't felt like the itch for another Paper Mario 64 playthrough. No, 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 no. What are we doing? System? What a shit. What a pity. What a shitty. That little bit of stutter, like, had me worried enough that I had to, like, stop and readjust. And ultimately, I lost my grip because of that. This doesn't feel worse than the Phoenix did. Now, like, on this obstacle, I feel like I can do this. At least as much as I feel like I could have with the other bike. Like, the more gradual acceleration might even help me a little bit. Because I'm, I'm a whole lot less likely on this one to flip backwards over myself by accelerating too fast. However, I was doing pretty well at this, and now I'm just not. I've lost whatever, like, beginner's luck I had. Steven Universe track, engage. such a gamble whether your, like, back tire catches enough of it to support yourself. Not a gamble, but a crapshoot. I have not acquired the skill of getting it consistently. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Gradual. Damn it. And I get too, like, focused on leaning forward, and my back tire leaves the ground. What is with these stutters? I might have to, uh, I might have to close Chrome. That might be doing it. I didn't close all the things that I usually close when streaming, because I figured it wouldn't be too intense just doing a video recording.
system stuff. No one asked, but in case anyone's curious why every trial stream starts with the music fading in, it's because this is one of those old games that, like, pauses when it's uh, defocused. Like, it, does, it stops playing video, it stops, uh, the music fades out. I don't have the finesse for this. I don't have the precision, like, R2 pressing. Please? Ah, oh, that was almost it! I almost caught myself. Yeah! I made a conscious point not to make the thumbnail of the previous vid video, Inferno 3, because obviously that's going to be the thumbnail of this one. Or I could just Photoshop like Hades from Hercules on a motorcycle. That could work. You know what they should do? Why did they do a why, why did they do a uh, a crossover game with a spin-off of Far Cry? You know what they should have done? They should have done Trials Devil May Cry. Put fucking Dante in this. Let us ride our motorcycle through hell. We already do it in these games. Just put Dante on the bike. Featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. Also, the music would be fitting, even. Oh, that's such a missed opportunity. Sean McPherson can uh, team up with uh, Goobly Gobbligoop, whatever the, the guy's name is in this game. I have already forgotten. Not Goodle McNoodle, that was my shitty biker's name. If I can catch myself on the, even the first platform, I can get enough speed to make it over that second one. I, I did a good job of that before, but there's so little room to land on the first one. I hate the bouncing. The bouncing. It just kills me so often. Because my back tire loses grip with the ground. And it's my own fault for accelerating slightly too fast. Uh, uh. No! No! I hate this game. This game sucks. Zero out of ten. God. Oh, that was heartbreaking. I was worried of leaning too far, f far forward and just eating dirt. I should have done it. I should have tried to, like, bounce on my front tire. It doesn't look like I'm doing any better, but this does feel a little more possible with this bike than the Phoenix. I... The early obstacle was definitely worse. That was definitely easier on the other bike. I'm hoping, like, right after this is not another Phoenix preferable obstacle.
No, the back wheel! I've now made it successfully onto the third platform twice, which is a good sign. But man, what could be next? What could, well, There's more after this. There's gotta be. This is still early in the level. This is like the third checkpoint. Hundred sixty six. Well, now I could use my idea and make Dante as my biker in the second game, but now it's not going to be as fitting in the second game because that one doesn't have like fire and, and edge in new metal. If only the character creator for this game were more in depth, I could have made Dante. Dante. Motorcyclist extraordinaire. Can't even I can't even get over I can't get over the second platform successfully anymore. I would say maybe if I had a better controller, but no, it's not the controller. It's me. I don't think there's any game I've played besides this that demands that I use the, uh, like, the, I forget what it's called, the, the analog? Yeah, the analog R2 controller function. It's just not something a lot of games utilize. Other than racing games, but, like, you're never really, you're almost always at full throttle in racing games or braking to go around a corner. I wish there was another, like, I don't know, more natural, more gradual control I could use to, like, control how go my engine was, but there's not really any other analog options unless I were to, like, uh, I don't know, use the, the right analog stick or something. That wouldn't have much more range of, of, uh, that wouldn't have much more range, though. We're at the 15-minute mark. That's not great. I, again, I feel like I'm doing better on this bike for this section. But I really don't want to have to do that first section on this bike again, because that was awful. If I hit the 30-minute mark again, I will switch back to the Phoenix. And I will see how I do on that one. On a second attempt. It's such a specific series of inputs t to get up and over that successfully. Not just inputs, but degrees of inputs. What would don't they do?
it's kind of funny how similar and yet also dissimilar Dante and uh, Alucard are from Helsing. And that they're both, well, I guess they don't have a lot of similarities, come to think of it. I, they're both kind of like power trip characters, but... Dante's a half-demon, and Alucard is very fully vampire. He just he works for humans, which Dante doesn't, so... I don't know why... I don't know where that comparison came from, other than, like, edgy cool boys. You know half-demon? Inuyasha. Dante and Inuyasha should hang out. Discuss, I don't know, white hair stuff. sibling problems. Those two have a lot in common. Currently watching uh, Inuyasha with Darien. And for as big as that series was in America, it was like, it was like as well known as DBZ. It's almost, well maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but not much of one during its heyday. But it doesn't really have a lot of fan art or anything. Anyway, hey, I made it. Okay, so it's not enough to get up over the barrel. I need to get over the barrel and then do something on top of it. Oh boy. Well, I can try again, so this isn't going to cost me a lot of faults at the very least. Like, I can fall back and uh, re make, make another attempt. But I also don't know what I'm doing. So I need to go up here and, like, bunny hop such that I catch the top of the barrel and maintain speed, it looks like. And that's a big ask. I can't even get on top of the barrel, much less do whatever it wants me to do on top of it. Normally, if this were an obstacle to just, like, get over the barrel directly, I could just kind of, like, roll over it, and I'd make it eventually, but... I gotta do something on top of it, even once I'm up there. See, now what? I don't know if this is worse than the previous obstacle, but this is a big ask. This is def this definitely seems like something that the Phoenix would be better at. Oh, that kind of almost felt like it. Could be 10 minutes. I might do this real quick, now that I'm coming in fresh. This game is easy. Bart. That wasn't even really a Homer voice. I don't know what that voice was. Oh, what am I doing? I don't even know if I'm close. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I do need to wheelie a lot to get just to get the speed necessary. But I'm still just not getting the speed. Who the fuck made this? Who thought this was a good idea? Uh, uh, oh! 
That was the closest so far. That was really close. Some might say it was wheelie close. Never gonna stop making those jokes. I'm waiting for a, a level to validate me by having one of those puns in the title. I trust you, Red Lynx. I know you're gonna do it in one of these games. The different sound effects for different materials is uh, something that a lot of people tend not to notice in video games, but that little attention to detail is nice. Helps make ga help makes games helps make games feel more alive. I mentioned I'm playing Twilight Princess, and in some ways. Even though there's, like, a lot more characters filling out the world of Twilight Princess, in other ways it feels, like, less lived in than even Ocarina of Time. Mainly because a lot of characters are just, like, standing around in the same place day and night, and that's kind of bizarre. Why, why doesn't the cannon clown sleep? Cannon clowns need to sleep, too. And I know why it is. It's because there's no way to change between day and night quickly in that game, unlike Ocarina. So a lot of NPCs they just have in the same place at all hours. This is really frustrating. Yeah, we're gonna hit the 30 minute mark for sure. Then we're gonna switch back to the Phoenix. And then we're gonna have to do that one part all over again. But maybe it wasn't the bike. Maybe I did better just because I'm, I'm, fr I'm fresh today and because I learned so much doing it the first time. Maybe I'll get through it quickly and get back here. And maybe this will be even harder on the Phoenix somehow. That almost sounded like the intro to a uh, Diablo Swing Orchestra song, somehow. I don't have time to, like, stop on top of the barrel. Even for a moment, I don't think, to... Like, could I land balanced on my back wheel and then accelerate? I don't think they would want that, but... I don't- logic's all out the window. This is Inferno 3. Five minutes remain. Watch this will only be like half the level. Let me see if I do get a kind of speed boost from using both Excel buttons at the same time. I theorized that last stream. But it's kind of hard to tell. It, it does feel like it a little bit. I did see someone mention online that you can, like, uh... There's some way to, like, get a little extra kick when you're stuck by pressing both at the same time, the R2 and X at this as well. But I don't know if it's, like, actually true, or if it's, like, 
you know, press down plus B to Pokeball. Oh, that was a close one again. I guess. I mean, it looked close, but it didn't feel that close. Like, I'm still getting my front tire on that little... that lip under where I need to be. I might as well restart quickly at this point. We're gonna run out of time way before we run out of resets. Might have been something. So what I did was I pressed X for the full XL, and then once I just caught the edge of that top barrel, then I switched to the uh, trigger for like the gradual. I don't know if I can replicate it though. I always use a PlayStation buttons I, I, in like that's my terminology because xbox and nintendo like vary with their but letter button placements and i hate that it's so disorienting especially when you're emulating i wonder how uh, i wonder how wii u emulation is probably not great because not there's probably not a lot of demand for it I know, uh, fa I mean, famously, there's Switch emulation. I haven't looked into it. So this seems like one of those cases where hitting the lower barrel actually hurts me because it bounces my uh, rear wheel back where I don't want it to be. So I want to, like, I want to bunny hop over that barrel and onto the top one. <sighs> but how do I get enough speed to make that jump? Again, I'm starting to question, like, is this even possible on the Scorpion, or is this just hard require the... the Phoenix? I feel like I'm getting so close, but... I'm also, like, never getting my top wheel on the platform I needed to be on, so I don't know. Final countdown, 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh. No, I'm not going to do... Don't put me on tournaments. Tournaments suck. Let's try the Phoenix again. I understand why those are both considered harder than the Scorpion. Because these are the two bikes that will roll out from under you the easiest. The uh, Phoenix and the Micro Donkey. Look how much faster I got over that on the Phoenix. This part, I remember, took a while. Maybe I'll be better at it now, though. I'm getting close. Uh, 
Almost. I need to bunny hop a little more on the uh, off the second one. But if I lean forward, like, I just slam my face into that, like that. Okay, there we go. That looks like it would be so much easier than it is. Okay, now I gotta fully go, like, R2 button in order to get the gradual acceleration that I need. And it has to be even more gradual on this one because it's so much easier to flip over yourself. This really is going to be a level where every obstacle is harder than the last. I'm worried. so slight. It has to be so gradual. Uh. And I have such a small window to do it on that third platform. The reason I'm backing up so much is that I need a lot of, like, I need to get a lot of acceleration to make the, the gap and land my rear wheel safely on the, uh, on the third one. So I need the full length of that, uh, I need the full length of that second piece of wood. I wonder how the Devil May Cry, uh, TV, the anime, the Netflix series is doing. Not to be confused with the existing Devil May Cry anime from, like, 2003, or whenever that was. That I watched. It was okay. Granted, I'm not a Devil May Cry fan, so I don't have the biggest frame of reference, but... Oh, it's so easy to flip over! That's why this section is harder on the Phoenix than the Scorpion. It's just, it's the extra risk of you just constantly flipping your back wheel over yourself. These single frame explosions gotta be awful for epileptics. I haven't heard anyone talking about the uh, Netflix Devil May Cry though. They're doing a uh, Netflix Tomb Raider that Jack is not terribly interested in because he's worried it's going to be like modern Tomb Raider, which it probably will be. If I can master the finesse required for this bike, for these sections... It's tough, but it's doable. Man! I really just need a more gradual, like, in input method than this R2 button. If I can just get to the next section, I'd at least like to see how, like, that one goes on this bike. It's this one that's the roadblock.
but I need, like, the length of the platform again. I need to ride the whole thing in order to have enough speed to make the jump at, at the top. So I can't just, like, keep going at speed once I land. Some bikes are bouncier than others, too, is another problem. If this were, like, Forza... I could do a bunch of fancy shit, like, like, set my tire pressure so I'd bounce less. And it wouldn't matter, because I wouldn't understand all the fancy stats. I wonder how many people play Forza Horizons, and for what reasons. Because they, the Forza series is one that, like, they try to market towards, like, super serious car nuts with all the fancy stats and, like, real, real vehicles and everything. And then there's me, who just wants another Burnout Paradise, and I'm only playing because there's nothing else kind of similar to Burnout Paradise on the market. And I don't care about, like, the weird tire pressure settings or anything. I just want to drive and collect stuff. And no one else is making those games. I wonder how, theoretically, you could transition Trials into 3D. I don't know that you necessarily could, because it's such a fundamentally simple game concept that, like, it hinges on this 2D simplicity. Hey! Alright! Now, now we're cooking. Now we're in business. Let's see how this goes. The 3D equivalent to, uh, like, Happy Wheels was Guts and Glory, effectively, but that's not so much about the gameplay as it is just, like, the novelty of, you know, having silly vehicles with violent things happening to the characters on the silly vehicles. That That's the extent of how Guts and Glory is similar to Happy Wheels. Uh, well, this is not immediately any easier than the Scorpion. Wait, wait, oh, oh, I th that felt closer. I should be a little more conservative with my resets just in case I end up going too high with them. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can catch my rear wheel on it and then flip over. That's something you can do in this game sometimes. Okay, so I really need to bunny hop at the top there. And I need to do it early if I want to be like forward leaning enough to make the gap. Thud. That can't be comfortable, landing like that. Maybe I should try to do that, is just, like, roll backwards and catch my wheel. I don't know if I can, like, roll that fast, though, is the problem. Like, I need a lot of forward momentum to even attempt that. And I don't think that I can. I could roll forward, I guess, but no, that's not gonna... Then I won't be high enough to catch it. I don't think that plan's gonna work. The rotation plan.
Well, I did make it past all the previous obstacles, like, way faster than the previous. Oh, that was so close! No! Oh! If I'd held fully forward, that might have been it. I did make it past all the previous obstacles way faster, so I am, like, getting better at this level. No, 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 no! I really just gotta commit before I even know that I've... Well, no, I can't roll over immediately because I need... my back wheel to fully land on the barrel and gain the acceleration. But I need to be leaning forward at just such an angle to be able to make the jump. I don't know why I'm theory crafting. Like, it's not all just, like, muscle memory and pressing buttons anyway. I am consciously attempting stuff, but, like, it's mo most of the time it's just, like, me pressing buttons and then succeeding on accident. Maybe I'm going too high. Maybe I should accelerate less? Oh, that might have been it. I think that's it. So I need to not fully accelerate off the top because I want to catch as much of that barrel as possible. I say, but then I, I fully accelerate and I don't even get up to the barrel anyway, so. The one time I almost succeeded, I actually let go of the gas a little early so that I could catch the barrel like that. That seems to be the plan. I need to get just the right angle on the barrel. I mean, obviously, but... But see, if I, if I, like, go over the top and I land straight down on the top of it... I think that's what's, uh... That's what's, uh, flunking me a lot of the time. I need to, like, perfectly ease onto the barrel while maintaining momentum from the trip up. Rather than just landing on the barrel. Yes, like that! Perfect! Oh, where are we going? What are we doing? Can't see. I'm on fire. Okay, so I'm going down, but where where am I going down to? Is, am I making a jump from here? I am. Okay, so I'm not going down, down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Never mind. We're fine. This shouldn't be too bad. Won't be easy, but... Same trick. I just need to, uh... Stop accelerating before I go fully off. And then, like those platforms, I need to very gradually... I need to use the gradual acceleration to not flip over. No, nope. too much, too much. God, it's so easy to flip. And if I lean, if I lean too early, then my uh, my front wheel lands go lands on the thing. And my back wheel leaves. It's such a specific amount of acceleration.
Yes, yes, yes. Yeah! We're doing it. We're gonna do it. Okay. Physics. We got physics now. Oh boy, there's a lip on that. This ramp has a serif. So how am I going to deal with this? I have 14 minutes remaining. I would be so upsetty. I would be upsetty regretty if I press the restart level button by mistake. Why am I not making it any anymore? I was so consistent with it just a moment ago. What happened? Where all my skill go? Skill, come back, I need you. I made it like five times in a row, and then now I can't. Oh, oh, oh! Please, catch the lip, catch the lip. Man! Oh, that would have been cheese. I don't know what happened. How much of this level is left? This could be a half hour video. I might get done with this real quick. Then I can reward myself with some cheesecake. I'm gonna finish this, it's gonna be 10 p.m. and way too late for cheesecake. Oh, now I'm making it, what changed? Shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have mentioned it. It, sh it should be simple, that lip. You see what I was trying to do. Like, I just need to go up it at speed, and once my rear wheel hits, I'll flip over into the correct orientation. theory. That's how it should work, anyway. Ten minutes left. I am two-thirds through my time and halfway through my, uh, my resets. Some monster out there, some human being holds the world record on this level. Someone has done this faultless. I wonder what the uh, I wonder what the platinum for this level actually demands. Like surely this is a platinum that even allows a number of faults.
I don't understand what I'm doing differently when I make it and when I don't. I'm wheeling, I'm bunny hopping. I'm using full acceleration. I'm using the X button, not the not the trigger. like the angle from which I jump jump from. Oh please. Oh please, just a little more. Please sir, can I have another? Can I have more checkpoints? I'm so close. Yeah, it's just the angle at which I go off. If I fall backwards too much, I get, like, extra drag on the way over, and that slows me down. I guess it's my fault for saying that I thought this lip was going to be easy. I set myself up for the hubris on this one. But we're making progress, like... This is so much worse than all- we did all the other extreme levels in one stream. It is as I predicted, this final level is completely its own stream. What a crazy jump in difficulty. Oh, oh please, oh please. No! Give me it! I'm there! Zero out of ten game. It's the worst. Don't buy it. Too much water. <sighs> okay. I, I, maybe I don't understand the technique for this. I thought I did. I thought it was obvious. Okay, no, I do. I was just, I was bad at it. <sighs> now watch me never replicate that. Like, I did it great the first time. Now I won't be able to do it again. Oh, that's a checkpoint there? Why is there? That's a weird place for a checkpoint, but okay. There's the end. We see it's in sight. We have five minutes, six minutes even. They felt this section merited an extra checkpoint. Oh, we can do it. I will be so. I will be so mad if we fuck it up here. Another checkpoint. They're super generous at the end here. Thank the gods of motorcycles. Thank you, Dante. That counted. I smacked my face into the finish line and it counted. Fuck this level. I hated that. I didn't like any of that. How long did that take? That took just over an hour. Okay. Well, I'm under my expected time. That sucked. Oh my god, I hope Trials Fusion doesn't have a level as bad as that, or worse. I wonder how bad Inferno 1 was, because I, I never finished that one in Trials 2. I, I didn't make the attempt because uh, it doesn't have controller support. Fear the Inferno levels. I get what well, I guess Trials HD was Inferno 2. We did that one just fine, but not Inferno 3. Well, that is the end of Trials Evolution. I will return to the Trials games at some point with Trials Fusion, probably sooner than later. The next solo stream that I do will probably be Link's Crossbow Training. I think I'm going to do that at some point this week.
got to finish Book of Mario. And uh, Pokemon Infinite Fusions I want to do sometime. So I got a few solo things coming up. Jack's computer is currently fried as of today. So I'm waiting to see when we'll be able to stream with him again. Currently unknown. Thank you for watching this pre-recorded video. And I will see you for the next stream.